So we are live. Okay, guys, welcome to Copy Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, we'll be talking about words that sell. Okay, cool. So today, without further ado, I want to just dive into the topic, words that sell. What the hell is copywriting? Yeah, in a nutshell, is using words that convince people to do your bidding, either is to buy something or is either to some form of call to action or some form of engagement you want them to take. That is copywriting in a nutshell. Guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Joel Olivier, and I am no other than a fitness business strategy guy. I'm a fitness professional first, and I love fitness business as well. Both fitness business, nutrition, and wellness as well. So I'm not leaving anyone out. This is what I do. This is what I love. And I love sharing the information. And on these shows, I'll be sharing tips, tricks, and strategies that could help you within your business right now. So let's talk about it. Today, I would like to talk about the different aspects and how it could help you in your business right now. So the good, the reason why copy is important, just look across the board, look at any any ad, you look at any commercial, look at any infomercial, and all that is copy. Good copy that make you make some form of action or even think about it. So I'll name I'll talk about three things that could do I shouldn't say that. I'll name and we'll talk about three things that copywriting is used for and you could use it right now as well. The first reason and the first thing you could use copy or good copy for is introduction or trying to bring people into your world, indoctrinating them. And these are one aspect of using copy. Copy, let's remember that. Using copy to indoctrinate people is vitally important. Most of us forget about indoctrinating. What the hell is indoctrinating? How do we do indoctrinating? There's a lot of question behind that. But good copy could help you indoctrinate your prospects who don't know anything about you to learn about you and, and bring them into your world. So that's what good copy could do for you. Indoctrination. Indoctrination could be, it could take place within, let's say, one follow-up to up to a hundred follow-up. And all that is knowing exactly what to say to engage them, let them understand who you are, what you do, how you could help them, and how you could help solve their issues right now. It builds trust. It builds love. It brings people into your community. It brings sales eventually. So good introduction and good indoctrination series of good copy words that sell you could have much more clients in 30 days 90 days 120 days etc understanding you need to use or you should look into using copy to indoctrinate prospects which i will say cold prospects who know nothing about you and inter introduce them into your world teach them share good content let them understand how you, the expert, could help them solve their issues. Okay, that's that's one area. The second area good copy is used for and how it could help you, it's to help promote. It's help to promote and help invite. For example, Christmas. There's a Christmas sale around the bend. You send out some, uh, let's say, emails or texts with good words that help promote whatever offer you have on the table. And most likely, if the people like you, binging on all the information you have, most likely there will be a big group of people taking you up on that promotion. So promotion is the next way to use copy to help promote whatever event, product, service that you have coming up. Also, it's a good way to invite people into your community. So you could use it to invite people into your Facebook group or whatever group you may have or whatever you may have going on to make a collective 
group of individuals come together, you could do that as well. You could use it to help build a, a list as well. So there's many ways to use copy, but copy is vitally important to, to use as a, a I, sh I shouldn't say a bait, but use to communicate with people. And that's what we have to realize is a communication thing. They don't know you from a hole in the wall, so your communication should be in such a way that when you first see somebody, how would you address them? How would you talk to them? People like to do business with friends. So try to win them over as your friend. Try to show them that you are the expert and you could help them. And you are on your way to getting more clients, more prospects, more clients, more money in the bank. The last way is using copy to create some form of call to action. Call to action could be done in many ways, either into, again, what I was saying before, opt-in to something. It could be a freemium, freebie, whatever thing you might have offering. For data opt-in, share email or phone number, address, etc. in return for something that you have to offer, free training, ebook newsletter, blog, whatever you may have to offer, podcast, and in return is a win-win for both parties. So having good copy to make that call to action, regardless if it's a freemium for you to build a list of clients or prospects to engage more into them, that is a good way to use good copy, right? Is the next way to call to action is, a next good call to action is to create like let's say you have something promoting and you're promoting, hey, I have something going on sale on Friday, the 20 whatever of whenever. For example, that's the promotion and you send out that good copy and they, they may have more questions about it. Now you send the call to action. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Take action on this now. Get whatever percent off or whatever promo or, or discount or whatever you might be running you send that to them to make that call to action now with scarcity, etc. So these are just simple ways of using copy. So what the hell is copy? Words that sell. Words that help people engage and make some form of action and at the end results, really making more money. That is copy. Learning about copy, you don't have to go to school to learn about copy. You could find a lot of videos on YouTube about copy. But just understanding the basic nuances of copy and a good header, a good call to action, that's it. That's all you need to know. And you could start to see more, more prospects opting into whatever you may have to learn more about what you do and how you can help them. So in a nutshell, again, using copy to help indoctrinate the prospects promote and invite, engage, and also some form of call to action. So in return, you could get the results you really desire at the end of the day. I hope this was helpful. And if it was helpful, and you know someone that might benefit from it, please share this video. It will be very useful and helpful for me and for them. So go ahead and do that right now. Again, as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace and success in your business.